You may have heard the news. Logic 10 just came out with Logic 10.1. Now, usually a .1 update is no big deal, you know? We fixed some problems. We maybe made something look a little shinier, that sort of thing. Well, this update is not like that. Basically, the Apple team had taken a whole host of workflow techniques, strategies, um, updates to what they already had, and basically made huge improvements uh, to Logic, and this update was pretty massive. Usually an update like this would warrant a new number, like instead of 10 being 11 or something like that. But 10.1, if this is what a point one looks like, I cannot wait to see what point two, point three. Ah, I can't wait to see what they look like. So let's have an overview. What's new? Well, if we get a file, I'm going to create new from template and I'm going to open my own music template. And when I do, I want to show you something because down here, instead of just having a frame rate of 23.976 or maybe 29.97, we have all these other frame rates. That's pretty cool. Well, I think I'll stick with the good old standard 23.976 and hit choose. And here we are. So what's new? Well, the first thing we're going to tackle is drummer. So I'm going to create a new track, choose drummer. First of all, besides the rock alternative songwriter and R&B that we had before, we now have an electronic and a hip hop drummer. There are 10 new drummers in all actually. And let's start with, uh, let's start with electronic and we'll go from there. To access the new drummers, you either go to electronic or hip hop, or if you go to alternative, you'll see some drummers there as well. Now these new drummers are actually using drum machines. They're not using drum kit designer like the original drummers do. So if we look down below, we don't see a drum kit like we saw before, we see a drum machine. Now it's not even a drum machine, it's something called Drum Machine Designer, which I'll talk about in a second. But if we go to the electronic artists, we can see that there's some differences in how uh, they're handled. On the right hand side, we have their presets and we have the hockey puck that we're able to choose uh, simple, simple versus complex and loud versus soft, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but their kit pieces are gonna be a little, more, little bit more limited. So we can add cymbals in or, you know, shakers and things like that. But we don't have um, the ability to change between cymbals and tom drums and things like that. This is definitely more catered towards the electronic musician. We still have the ability to follow other tracks, which is great. Uh, and then we also have eighths versus sixteenths, which is cool. Uh, there are a couple of new changes that they made to drummer in general. Uh, if you go to this little gear here, you can choose keep settings when changing drummers, and keep the drum kit when changing drummers. That's also pretty cool. Hit details. Under details, we have complexity range. So this is kind of neat, because basically what we're saying to the electronic drummer, this is not available in the drum kit designer acoustic drummers, is that if we go from simple to complex, we can limit the range of complexity. So the kick drum, even though I go all the way over here to simple, it's only going to be giving us a variation this far. If I go all the way to the right, it's only gonna be this complex. Whereas the snare drum has wild variation between the simple and the complex. So this is pretty hip when you're using uh, electronic drum beats because you might want the kick to be very solid and uh, not have too, many, too much variation to it, but you might want something like the hi-hat to really give you uh, a feeling that you're not just playing a loop. You're having it do something really interesting. So that's nice. We also have auto halftime. That's when you're going to do your you know, dubstep drop or something like that. Uh, humanize, which is a, a type of humanization that's different from what we normally think of humanize. If you do a humanization of a beat, it's actually keeping some of the beats on the beat uh, and then taking the subdivisions and moving those around. So no matter how, quote, human I make it, unquote, uh, there are certain beats that it's going to keep steady, and that's usually going to be anything that's on a quarter note for the electronic musicians. Now, if we go over to the electronic musicians, we see that there are five new drummers. You should definitely experiment with them. Uh, some of them are more dubstep-oriented. Some of them are more uh, huge, you know, epic house, uh, and others are, you know, more subdued. They're a lot of fun. If we go to the alternative, you'll see that there are a couple down here, Maya and uh, Duncan, and these two are also using Drum Machine Designer instead of Drum Kit Designer. So with the new drummers, uh, you also get 
a couple of different kits that you can choose from. So we've got Neon and then Video Star for this particular drummer. If we go to one of the electronic drummers, you'll see that they also have kits that they like to use. There's usually two of them. Okay, so those are the new drummers. And one thing that's also kind of cool is you can have more than one drummer at a time now. So I could have an alternative drummer and an electronic drummer playing at the same time, which is pretty awesome. We didn't have the ability to do that before. Um, and it wasn't so bad. It was kind of like, well, we have our drummer and our drummer has this personality. It's not like we're going to be flipping personalities and drummers or whatever. And yeah, okay, I kind of understand that. But it's really beautiful now because we can have one drummer who's giving you a hi-hat style that you really like. And then you can have another drummer who's completely electronic. That's pretty awesome. So in talking about our new drummers and some of the new things that we have in 10.1, we also want to talk about Drum Machine Designer. So let's see, I want to pick up one of my electronic artists. I'll go to Ronnie. And we have a couple of different kits that he can choose from. Now, Drum Machine Designer. I'm going to open up the library. And the main patch for Drum Machine Designer is Depth Charge. If I open this up, I get this nice grid of voices. Now here's something to keep in mind, and I want to make sure that you really understand this. This is not just a front end for Ultrabeat. This can pick any voice out of your entire library, any patch that you have, whether it's a piano or a bass or a drum or what have you, you'll have access to that here. Now at the top, we have the entire kit. So these are controls that we can use on the entire kit. So if I go to something like Ibiza, it's going to take a second for it to change all of the, uh, all of the controls. But as you see, now I have kicks and claps and hats, and these are volumes for all of those. We also have built-in effects. At the top, we have a grid of all the different voices that we're using. If we click on a cell, this is going to select on the left-hand side uh, any kind of voice that I want for that cell. It starts off in the same category that was originally selected, but it, it could really be anything. We could go into our library and pick up a piano or, or like I said, anything and stuff that in there. So that's pretty cool. We also have a set of controls that are related just to that voice. And uh, there are many cells. So in this one, we've got, you know, a four by four grid. Over here, we have another four by four grid. So again, to select a cell and then reassign it, you come over to your library, make it anything you like. The controls are going to be specific to that cell and that voice, which is really beautiful. So in this case, we have pitch, length, envelope, spread. But let's say just for fun, I went back into my library and chose orchestral and got a solo French horn. Well, a solo French horn is going to have a completely different set of controls. We have legato versus staccato, low and high EQ. So that's pretty cool as well. So basically anything in your library that you want in a cell, you can pop in there. Now I'll go back to my Ibiza settings. I'll choose Futura instead. It's going to give me a new set of instruments and a whole different set of settings. We also have, besides our controls, we have our sends. Sends go to group delays and group reverbs. So for all of your kicks, you can have delay. For all of your kicks, you can have reverb. Snare is the same. It's pretty cool. So how does this all work? Well, let's let's get under the hood a little bit. Let's Go to the left here. I'm going to go to these, the kick and the snare. And I'm going to control click and create a track for each one. So let me give you a little picture of what's happening here. I'm going to open up the mixer. And as you see, Drum Machine Designer is actually an enormous track stack that has all kind of voices going on. If you look at all these yellow tracks, they are all related to the Drum Machine Designer which is ridiculous. It's all pre-mixed. You see that everything has their own effect. I mean, here we get an ultra beat, sure. And we have all of the channels of the ultra beat that we're using. But, you know, like I said, I went in there and I got a French horn. And if you pop a French horn in there, it's going to create a channel strip with all of the proper plugins and the sends used for that French horn. So it's like an enormous channel strip that you're able to mess with, which is really, really cool. 
go down here, you can actually, this is a new thing in 10.1. If you have a track stack like this, you can open and close it just by clicking on this disclosure triangle in the mixer, which we didn't have before, and we do now, which is very cool. Okay, so now multiple drummers. We have 10 new drummers. We have electronic drummers. We have Drum Machine Designer, which allows us to select any cell of the Drum Machine Designer and replace any of these with any voice that happens to be in our library. We have all these mixes and effects. We have controls that are set up for each individual uh, voice that we have in Drum Machine Designer. And right now that's all being played by our drummer. So now that we've talked about the drummer oriented stuff and we've talked about Drum Machine Designer, we really need to start talking about um, the, way, the new ways that we can create MIDI in Logic. very much like to thank Pyramid for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramid I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.